What's up guys? I'm going to show you a quick video on how to fix 5M startup issues. Not so much with the 5M client, but more so connecting to a server. So what would normally happen when you start your 5M? 5M has no issues starting up. You connect to a server, and as you can see right now, I have no issues connecting, so I'm all deaf for this. But it would pop up with, oh, I can't connect. Uh, you take several tries to connect. Of course, when I'm trying to show you what it looks like, it's not doing it. But if you have issues connecting to any server, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, this is the video for you. What we're going to do is clear out the cache from 5M, pretty much force update 5M, and clear out any unnecessary files that could cause these crashes. So the first thing you want to do, so if you're on Windows 10, nice and easy, go to your search, 5M, if you play like me, you should be in your most recent. You can just search it as well, it doesn't matter. Just go wherever you start up and type in 5M in your search. And then you want to just right click on it, or you can go right over here and open File Location. It'll bring up to where 5M is saved. You want to right click on 5M once more and open File Location again. Now you will see 5M Application Data. Open that up. The one thing you want to delete is right here, caches.xml. It'll be on the very top. Delete that right out. Another thing you want to do is go right here to where it says cache. I typically delete everything in here. You can leave this game folder. It saves stuff from the servers you connect to. I usually just delete everything. It does make it take a little longer to connect for your first time again since you have to re-download everything. But this is nice because if you play on servers and the developer does an update, that update could have caused a bug with the server. You still have that bug saved in your folder here. So it's nice. I recommend doing this at least once a week where every time you know the server has done an update. So you know that you have the most recent files that are not bugged out. And as you can see, this folder size alone is almost 10 gigabytes. And I only play on one server. So if you play multiple different servers, this could be quite large, and there could be a lot of buggy files in here. So don't delete the folder. Delete everything inside the folder. It may take a second to delete everything. And then once that's done, we're just going to come over. We're going to start 5M up. This should force update 5M, which you can see it is. Force updating 5M to make sure that 5M has its contents it needs. See right there, it'll tell you right there, 5M needs to update the ca game cache. You just hit yes, and now you force updating the client. This ensures that if 5M for some reason does not update when it's supposed to, this force updates it. This will, this will give you the newest version of 5M. So you just wait for this. And it was says that we're going to try connecting to a server. And you should have no problems connecting now. Like I said, I try doing this at least once a week or when I start getting issues trying to connect to a server. All right, Sarah, so now we're we went through all this. Now, this will reset everything in your 5M. Keep in mind when you do that, everything will go back to normal. But now, if I go searching, for my server and I try connecting to it it should with no issues start right up but keep in mind as you can see right there it has to re-download all the content as you can see it has to re-download everything but like I said before this is good to have because that ensures there's no bugged out files in your folders I'm going to alt F4 because there's one more thing I do want to show you. We're going to go right back into the directory we were in for the 5M. Because there's one more folder we can clear out. We can go to crashes. You can see all these dump files. Every time you have a crash, it puts something in here. Let's just get rid of everything in there. I'm going to delete this again as well just because I alt F4 out of my download. But that's all you have to do. And after doing that, you should have no more 5M issues until you get them again. 
Thanks for stopping by. Let me know what you thought of this video. We'll see you in the next one.